Hey everyone, my name is Amy Rebecca and welcome or welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago I uploaded a video where I reviewed my new, yes new, even though it was March, 2021 planner and showed you guys how I like to plan and in that video I showed you some DIY stickers that I had made for my planner that I was really quite fond of and I had a few comments from you guys asking if I could share how you can make your own DIY planner stickers. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you are new, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe for more videos about organization, decluttering, intentional living, all that jazz, and give this video a thumbs up. I don't know what this is. A thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let's get into this little mini tutorial. Okay, you will be glad to know that this is very, very easy to do. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have been able to do it. But all you need is some sticker paper, a printer, I used my Cricut machine to cut my stickers out but if you don't have one then you can just use the scissors and that works too. This is the sticker paper that I used, I got this from Amazon. This is the Evergreen Goods High Quality Self Adhesive Sticky Glossy White Paper. It was pretty inexpensive, I don't remember exactly how much it was. I think it was about £8 and I got 50 sheets. Am I gonna use 50 sheets of sticker paper? Probably not. I think it's really great for planner stickers because like I said, it's inexpensive and also even though it's a glossy surface, there wasn't any smudging when I printed the stickers out, so that is good. However, these stickers are not splash proof or waterproof. So that's obviously not going to be a problem if they are inside your planner, but if you're using them to decorate the outside of the planner, then I don't know, I don't think it's great. I put some on my laptop. See that? That could be a sign that I should just stop spilling water on my laptop, but hey. Okay, the next thing you are going to need is a Canva account. I'm gonna hold up my hands and say that I am pretty obsessed with Canva. I use it for my YouTube channel, my blog, my Etsy shop, and just anything I wanna make in life that I want to be beautiful. It's a very user-friendly graphic design website that allows you to easily make um, different pictures and posts of any size you can think of. So I have a pro account because I get a lot of use out of it. You don't need a pro account, you can sign up for a free account and you'll be able to do a lot of the same features as with the pro account. The pro account just gives you access to more fonts, more um, images that you can use, different clip art, and also allows you to save things with a transparent background, which I love. To make these stickers you don't need a pro account but it does give you more options. So I'm going to leave a link in the description box where you can sign up for a free 7 day trial of the pro account and then once you're done making your stickers just cancel the subscription and you won't pay for it. I do that for everything. Everything. You all know I don't like to pay for things. Okay so we are on Canva and I'm going to choose the A4 document. It's not really a big deal what size of document you choose, but since the sticker paper is A4, this just makes things a little bit easier. So first I'm going to show you how I made these little affirmation stickers in the bubbles. So I'm going to go to elements and then I'm going to scroll down to gradients. And I just like this one because it has lots of different bubbles and clouds, but you could choose any shape you want. They have absolutely everything on here. If you want a triangle, type triangle. You want a cloud, type cloud. You want a llama, type llama. They have everything. But I like the little clouds. So I'm going to insert that. And then I'm going to change the colors to make it just all one color. It's just personal preference. From there, I can insert text. She believed she could. Oh, so she went out and kicked butt. Then you can change the text, change the color, just make it however you want it. If you could use paint in the 90s, you can use this, trust me. Oh, did you see how hunched over I was just then? Like, no wonder I've back pain after working on my laptop all day. Okay, so we're gonna put this text inside the sheet. We can move it around a little bit. What I like to do 
because I am kind of obsessive is I will take that shape, I will copy it, turn it white, make it a little bit bigger than the original and then use it as a border just because it makes it look a little bit more fancy. Send it to the back. I actually need to change the color of the background so I can see. Okay, there we go. See what I mean? It just gives it a little bit more of a... Then you can do that exact same thing with anything. Doesn't need to be a quote, anything. Just say something. I can't hear you, but I'm assuming you said goat. I don't know why. Okay, goat. Oh, cute. Okay, so we're gonna take the goat and we are going to put him up here as a sticker. Now, because he's got a whole bunch going on with the horns and the beard and the legs, I'm actually going to put him inside a different shape. It will, it'll just have to cut the simple shape instead of having to cut all the little fiddly bits of the goat. Okay, then you can just keep adding different quotes, different pictures, different shapes, anything that resonates with you and you think will be useful in your planner, just use them to fill up the whole page. Then whenever you're done, you just press download. We want it as a PNG. And I always like to save it as a transparent background. That way the little white edges that I put around my stickers will show up. Now, if you don't have a Cricut machine, here is the part where you would just send that whole thing directly to your printer and then you would take your little scissors and cut the whole thing out but I am going to open my Cricut design space I'm gonna upload that if I can find it which I probably can't because I have way too much junk on my computer where is it what did I save it as help then you just choose complex yeah looks good to me we want to print then cut upload insert okay and then you just cricket it as usual so first you just send it to your printer and then once that's printed out you can pop it in your Cricut machine make sure that you select um, a custom material and then you can go into the list on your Cricut app and select the sticker paper and then just let that Cricut do its thing and it really is as simple as that look at him He's so cute. But yeah, this is how I made all those stickers for my planner. If you guys didn't catch that last video, then I'll link it down below so you can go and check that out. Shout out to all my other planner nerds out there like myself. Hope you are having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember, you are enough just as you are. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.